So uh, this morning I talked about, the title was Big Data Fast Cars, How Streaming Can Help Motorsport and Formula One Teams. Uh, it was about uh, big data as I'm working for my power big data platform and explaining how, how much data you have when you do uh, motorsport but many, many other industries and how to deal with it in terms of capturing the data, storing the data, processing the data in an efficient way. And my goal was to deal, to give some tips and techniques to the developers in the room, just like that they can learn new frameworks or have new tools for their daily life. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a very interesting talk from my side because at the end I had many questions and very interesting discussion with the audience. Describe your talk. So I was talking about API Map, which is an API management, uh, open source API management project. And um, in short, it's a way of extracting common functionality from all of your REST APIs into a common layer. So you can do things like security, you can do things like rate limiting, you can write custom policies to do more or less anything. That's the, that's the very short version of it. Yeah, I'm talking about uh, reactive patterns uh, in the Java EE ecosystem. Uh, so the reactive pattern has, or reactive programming has got a lot of tension lately, but a lot of people are uh, having code bases in Java EE, so it's kind of an approach to get more responsive web applications for Java EE projects. Yeah, I've enjoyed it a lot. It's a nice city and uh, attendees are really friendly. I highly recommend it. So the talk will be about how to, um, to shift old legacy applications written for um, Java EE, uh, how to shift them to more uh, more future standards, so because because the, the the problem is that if you are design application from scratch, it's easy with new technology just to move forward, because uh, technology allows us to do this. And in case if you have application for uh, ten years or for five years running already, it's much more complex to use it efficiently nowadays. And the story will be how to try to keep on a wave even if you're running legacy application and you need to just move with the time forward, so. So, uh, I've presented how to build a modern distributed application using a toolkit named Vertex, uh, which is a, a toolkit, so it's really a library to build a reactive applications, distributed application on top of the Java virtual machine. It's, um, surprisingly, it doesn't hide the complexity of distributed system, it just lets the developer embrace it and manage its own failures and so on, because we know it's going to fail, so we let him do that in his code directly. So I was talking about multi-tenancy and software as a service, and basically how uh, an architectural decision can change uh, your business and can create some business opportunities. So I, I wanted to share about uh, what I've seen and uh, about different API management solutions and to, 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 to give clues about how to use them and to have the opportunity to, for, for different people who haven't seen them to see different, at least a screenshots of different vendors. And uh, I, I think it's been useful for, for the guys who were who in, in the room. Yeah, sure. So I'm showing how to do lean microservices on OSGI. I show the, how the people do it nowadays. Uh, hype, Microsoft is all the hype, but uh, people just use Spring Boot and build something that they call microservice, but it's not really what they want to achieve. And I show how to build first modular applications and later then go to microservices where it's really needed, but keep small and simple where you can. Here, uh, today I talked about Java for uh, Kubernetes for Java developers. So, what I did, I started from zero without any prior knowledge of Kubernetes with some sort of microservices. Then, we created some Docker images and then I put it on the Raspberry Pi cluster with Kubernetes. So, it was uh, quite, quite a fun tool, though, to get a feeling how Kubernetes works, how, how, really can, how you can bring your application, Java applications onto the platform. Kubernetes is an orchestration platform. Here, and I, this was essentially the, the essence of my talk. Sure, so my talk was about uh, comparing two different types of messaging technologies, ActiveMQ and Apache Kafka, uh, and the entire purpose of it was partially to break down some common myths that people have about these sorts of technologies, but also to give them a few instructional points as to how to understand messaging technologies in general, so that when they come around to looking at, a, at one of these technologies in order to, to implement it for one of their projects, they know what they're looking at, and because they've had this compare and contrast, 
they know how these things might differ from each other. Yeah, well, basically the presentation is about uh, using Docker containers with Kubernetes and Spring framework and the Netflix components on top of it in order to create in production a distributed system. Yeah, I actually would say that this is one of the best conferences ever I attended. And one of the most important part was that we were actually given the chance to talk about the non-technical uh, speech. So it was yeah. about the open source and the open source way, how we can actually attract people to, uh, to join the open source community and not only as developers. So it, I think this is very random where you can get actually the chance to talk about non-technical talks at the, at the Java conference. So. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And also we saw a lot of motivated people who wanted to join the community. They stay until the end just to watch the closing keynote about this topic, which is not that technical. And uh, we kind of enjoy seeing people starting to interact with us. They are getting like a new mindset where they start collaborating and they, they will start interacting in the future. So we are looking forward for next edition so we can see how it's... Yeah, happening. and on top of that I would say that the, the number of speeches, the number of talks, the number of attendees is extremely great. It's, it was really, really, really big thanks to the organizers and the university. Nice, mm -hmm. nice, really nice venue and uh, yeah, at Barcelona City as well. It's, it's great, amazing, great yeah. to be here. Yeah.